what's up everyone today's episode we're changing out a 10 year old york 80 percenter that was slightly oversized um and we're replacing with this uh tm9y 80,000 btu um 95 two stage um uh, the factory didn't have the heat exchanger in stock, so we're replacing this furnace with an 80 percenter under warranty. Um, I'll walk you through what we're doing. Going that way to get outside to the new vents. So this was put in in 2013. This is before I started doing my square footage times 30 for my BTUs. I've used that since bef just before then or after then and it, um, it works out great. So we're basically swapping this out with a 95 two stage. Same with cabinet. Um, we're basically disconnecting the return gas lifting up the coil i'm hoping so hopefully got enough room to do some lifting and um slide in one out and slide in the other one back in and then we're going to be venting this out probably straight up and out so morning tyler Good morning um so yeah uh shouldn't be that difficult we, this should only take us all oh, three four hours maybe not even that so um i'll get you some uh after shots all right, we have updates. Got this furnace dislodged, and you can see there's a crack split there, split there, pretty much a split in all the cells. Yeah, it's just a hairline split right there. One, pretty much one in every single one, so. Yeah, I'll leave the I'll leave the description right here. So uh, yeah, we'll get this one out and get the new one in. And this is another reason why I like stainless steel heat exchangers because that probably wouldn't have happened if uh, we, this was stainless steel. Um, this is the new one, um, pretty much the same setup, just a, obviously ninety six percent versus an eighty. So. So as you can see, my quality of work has gotten a lot better from 10 years ago. I used to use caulk around here. Now I use this camper tape. And I wish all my change outs were this easy. Just like that, folks. Just got to screw the return together, drop this down. And then hook everything back up. Simple as that. Uh, yeah, if I could have all my change outs this easy, I would probably do three to four of these a day. <laughs> it's literally. I have updates. Now, well, took us all, took us about three and a half, four hours. New furnace, Fraser Johnson, same thing as a York uh, Luxair. Um, we're able to slide it underneath, reconnect the return. Uh, we had to redo the gas because um, the gas came on this side, so we used uh, Counter Strike. I, I love this stuff for applications like this. It's got mechanical fittings. Um, yeah, stuff works great. It's flexible. Um, new pump. Um, redid the vents. That was a pretty easy one. That was about the most hardest thing on this job, but, and I want you to check this out. So on these JCIs, if you come off here, you got to put the little kit on it and because otherwise it leaks on the gas valve. So I come off on the side, go check out Jerry's garage. 
I'll put a hashtag in the description, but check his channel out. He's got a lot of good content too. And he did a video on this on the carrier and JCI, and I think his videos are worth checking out as well. But yeah, go check out Jerry's Garage. Um, he just, like I said, did a video on this where he had to replace the gas valve. Um, so anytime I do these JCIs, I, I try to come out the sides of the intake so we don't have any issues with the moisture dripping on that. So other than that, guys, it's, we have heat, safe heat, because there's no cracks in this one. And um, yeah, this is a short video. So once again, there was uh, cracks in here, splits in the heat exchanger. So, but uh, yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Come shake. That's it. Shake. Shake? You don't know that one. Do you? Shake? Good boy, Doug. Good boy. Louie. Louie? Hi. Hi, Louie. Louie the hairless kitty. <laughs> or Louie the hair of something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like you're cold. Yeah, always. <laughs> always. Those are those are cool looking cats though. What's up, Louie? They're not very photogenic. <laughs> <laughs> Doug is. Doug's yeah. a Doug's a great uh we might use him as the mascot. He is. Have you seen how high he can jump? He can jump really high. Like in fact he can bump his head head <laughs> That's funny.